After posting the video on searching on a NS table view, I got a question from the viewer, and I'm going to talk about this in today's session. I uh, in the session I did before, which is on day eighty, I use a NS table view and a V controller to uh, show you how to search using the array controllers um, filter predicate. Uh, in that time, uh, I used this predicate, uh, which is um, from NS predicate, that works like a uh, query language to search information in the table view. Um, but the question from the uh, viewer is asking that, what if I'm not using array controller? Could I still uh, search in the table view? This is what I'm going to show you today with this uh, sample project. In this sample project, I have created this um, without using array controller. Instead, I provide to the table view uh, using data source method. To verify, first I show you um, the, the table view here. And then by checking the binding inspector, I'm not setting the contents here. Also, as you can see from this real controller, I didn't put um, array controller here. Instead, by looking at the connection inspector, I connect data source of the table view back to the view controller here, and then implement the required methods from NS table view um, data source. To search about this, I first uh, add a search field to the view controller. Make it bigger. And then, uh, first, I want to connect this uh, search field as an IP action to my view controller. Set it to IP action and also set the type to NS search field. This IP action will be called uh, when I make changes to the content, which is the test field of this search uh, field. Um, to show you what is collecting, I'm going to print the content here. Uh, say if the sender dot string value is empty, which means when I type something to it and then I erase the content, or when I click the uh, dismiss button on the test field, it becomes empty string. So I check this as is empty. I will print this as um, is empty in the console log. Else, I will simply print the value from the um, and then search field. Running the application, you will now see this is the sample data that I said before, as you can see from this string survey. And then this is the search field. Say if I type one character, it prints uh, what's inside the search field and then it prints it like this. When I cross out to back to empty string, it shows as it's empty. If I type again, and then this time uh, I dismiss the search field, it will become it's empty. With this setup, I could now use the uh, standard.string value as the searching criteria uh, to find the rows that matches. Um, in this case, as I'm not using array controller, I need to write my own uh, implementation in searching the values from the strings away. Uh, to start with, 
um, first I'm going to create one more array let me call it uh, back of strings and this is an array of a string I will always um, assess this back of strings uh, when it has value so I could set it to uh, unlocked and uh, what I need to do is to make sure every time I'm calling or accessing this variable uh, I should have uh, the strings away set to it already I'm creating this uh, as a backup for uh, what's in the strings away since strings away is what I use as the data source and uh, when I uh, perform a search I will change the content of the strings away so backup strings is used to temporarily uh, save the content of uh, the strings and then it can be um, restored after the search uh, is done and then I'm going to add one more variable is searching as a boolean and set it to false by default um, I will turn it to true when it is um, having a search here so basically the idea would be when the sender string value is empty um, I will set this searching to false which would somehow trigger the restore of the strings away but when I'm giving a value to the search I will turn this as uh, is searching to true so basically when um, the search starts is searching becomes true and at that point I want to uh, back up the uh, strings away so what I could do is to set up this set callback within the change of uh, is searching variable I also want to change it only if uh, is searching is turned from either true to false or false to true I don't want to do anything if it is currently false and then uh, being set to false or from true to true to check that I could do this by if it's searching where at this point it is the new value is not equal to the old value I will do uh, the housekeeping stuff uh, within this block and if it is currently becoming a searching means a searching is turned from false to true I'm going to back up the strings away like this else I will uh, restore it so this time it is turning from true to false I will restore the strings away from the backup strings okay so now I have the housekeeping stuff uh, in changing the status of uh, searching then now I'm going to uh, perform the real element of um, searching in this case um, I want to search like before which is case insensitive and uh, check uh, whether the value I provide in the search field uh, can be found within uh, the content say in this case I have Apple if I provide a search key as APP Apple should be the only result uh, in the table view 
what I could do is uh, in this part, I'm going to use the backup strings dot filter method, which is the functional programming um, set by Swift. It will go through or iterate through the backup strings as backup strings is uh, the backup of strings. So it will iterate each value here. And then I will return only if uh, the string in the array with all lowercase because I want it to be case insensitive dot contain string of the sender dot string value dot uh, lowercase string when this is true when it contains then it will uh, return that particular uh, object of the array to the resulting array and by running this filter function there will be a new array coming up that is all fulfilling the criteria and I will set the result to strings here which is the data source of uh, the table view. After all, of course, I need to reload the table view using table view dot reload data and it will trigger the data source method to run for both of these and uh, show with the latest value in the strings array. Now let me run the application and have a check. So say this time I am uh, searching start with A as all the uh, strings here contains the value of A so it is all showing up and then how about APP is not only Apple if I go back, A will search uh, all these and then go back to empty. Of course, um, it will reset. Say I search with another one, this will reset. How about add one more here? For instance, there is a small problem of having a row of empty string, but that's fine. If I now search for water, the two comes up and it goes back. It goes back like this. And how about using the dismiss here? It resets the whole array. So that's it for um, using search uh, with uh, NS table view without using array controller. As you can see, um, it is quite suggest to use array controller as it uh, provides a lot of functionalities to us. Uh, if you want to learn more about array controller, feel free to check my sessions on array controller or leave me questions uh, below to ask anything that you uh, would like to know. Uh, this is a session for um, the, uh, the one that asked me questions and feel free to leave me more comments and I will try my best to film more videos to answer your questions as well. See you next time.